Let's balance the equation for GaBr3 plus Na2SO3, gallium bromide, gallium 3 bromide, and sodium sulfite. This is the sulfite ion. So we use a bit of a trick here to balance the equation. We have one gallium, three bromine atoms, two sodium atoms, but this SO3, it's a polyatomic ion. It's called the sulfite ion. We have one of them here, and then we have sulfite again on this side. We actually have three. Since we have sulfite ions on both sides, we're just going to count this as one thing. So we have one sulfite ion here. That'll make it a lot easier, and you'll get the same answer either way. Over here on the products, two gallium, one bromine, one sodium, and we have the one sulfite times three. So we have three of those. I think I'll start by balancing the gallium. I have just the one here and the two over here. So let's put a two as our coefficient. 1 times 2, that'll balance the galliums. This 3 times 2, that'll give us 6 bromine atoms. We might as well put a 6 in front of the NaBr. So we have 1 times 6 for the sodium, and then 1 times 6 for the bromine. So we balanced the bromine atoms. Let's put a 3 here in front of the sodium sulfite. 2 times 3. That balances the sodiums, and 3 times the 1 sulfite here, that gives us 3 sulfites. We're done. This equation, it's balanced. The type of reaction we have here, this is a double displacement reaction. We have the gallium bonded to bromine, but now the gallium is bonded to the sulfite. The sodium, which was bonded to the sulfite, now it's bonded to bromine. So these two, they switched places. If you wanted to write the states, that would look like this. Everything here would be soluble, but the gallium sulfite, that's probably only slightly soluble. So we're going to call this a solid. So this would be the precipitate when these two substances reacted. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for GaBr3 plus Na2SO3. Thanks for watching.